guys welcome back to my channel um for today's video i'm going to film a get ready with me using some of my favorite products um so you're gonna see favorite products brushes makeup um and i'll talk you through each of the steps this is like a very typical makeup routine for me something that i would do on a day to day i am in my bathroom so i apologize for different robes and towels hanging but you know it real real life right this is real life so I didn't sleep very well last night, as you can see by these bags. There was just so much noise. I live in the center of the town where I am living in, um, in the UK. And sometimes in the weekend, there is just so much noise outside. So I didn't sleep very well, but I'm getting ready for the day. I already put on my daytime skincare. Um, so I'm using currently this SPF by Garnier. It's very very good really like this um, and yeah I'm going to I've already wet my beauty blender please don't judge me for this beauty blender it is dirty this is about a week old I just opened this this beauty blender last last weekend so I, I have all my brushes here ready to wash right after this video I swear um, all right so I am somebody who prefers to do my eyes first and then do my base because I do wear eyeshadow and I feel like sometimes if there's some fallout it's just easier for me to clean and then do my base or even clean it with my base right so let me just put my hair behind my ears even though it's gonna look a little bit silly but it's just for for the video um and I'm going to go in with an eye primer I have quite oily eyelids and a bit like creasy as you can see so I find that I need to use an eyeshadow primer because the eyeshadow otherwise just disappears from my eyes throughout the day um, this one is from Rimmel it's very very affordable it's their magnifies eyeshadow primer I really like it I'm not very picky with eyeshadow primer so I just buy whatever I can find at the drugstore, typically. And I'm going to go in with my currently favorite eyeshadow palette. You guys have seen this on my channel before. Nothing has changed. Urban Decay Naked 3. Love this palette so much because if you look at these shades, these are all pretty much all shades that I use and wear. So I get tons of use of this eyeshadow palette. And that's what I look for in an eyeshadow palette. I look for a combination of the formula and like am i going to use at least 80 percent of the shades minimum the only shade in here that i don't really use is this one here this like navy shade it's just too dark and i prefer lighter um eyeshadow colors and these here these browns are lovely they look dark on the pan but they don't come off so dark on the eyes um it kind of comes off as just this really pretty bronze hue right so i i like these for um like a one and done these three here are like a one and done eyeshadow look for me but because i want to do my favorite using favorite brushes favorite eyeshadow i'm gonna actually do my favorite so my favorite favorite shades in here are this one here this one this one and this one they are called limit buzz trick and nooner um I use these for blending out and these for shimmer all over. So I'm going to go in with the pink one today because I feel pink. And this brush is from Wet n Wild and it's just a shader brush, but it's perfect and it was extremely affordable. So I love it. Okay, I'm going to use my mirror here from the eyeshadow palette. And I just put the shimmer all over my lid in a very sloppy fashion because I'm going to blend that out in just a moment with a blending shade and this is really quick and really fast all right done now I'm gonna share with you guys a blending brush that has changed the game for me okay you need to go out and get this blending brush if you have issues blending 
or you want to cut down on the amount of time that you spend doing your makeup every morning. This is from Real Techniques. Um, I got this in a set and I was more interested in other brushes in the set and this one just was like a bonus in, the, in there and I never really thought that I would use it because it is so thick. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. It is huge and thick and I thought there's no way. That's just too big. This is their deluxe crease brush. But then I tried it because my other crease brush was getting kind of dirty and I fell in love. This just, it's effortless. You, you, it, it does the work for you. It does the blending work for you. You don't have to be there for 10 minutes, back and forth, back and forth, windshield wiper, just a little bit and you're done. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here, the darker shade and tap that off and blend that out. So I would go into the darker shade if I want a little bit more definition, if I just want very soft and you know I don't want it to overpower the pinky, I would go in with this lighter shade to blend out. But today I'm gonna go with the darker so I can show you guys the power of this brush, okay? Look, I'm not gonna cut anything out of this video. Done. It's done, it's blended. Maybe like there's one little spot here that I would like to fix and just bring the eyeshadow up a little bit. It's done, it's blended. Looks pretty good. Of course, there's like always gonna be a little bit of cleanup. It's done, it's blended, it looks good. I do have a little bit of eyeshadow here, but that will, you know, I'll clean that up with um, concealer when I put concealer on. So just to show you guys, I'm gonna do the other eye. Done, done, blended. Good to go. The only thing I'll add is some highlighter here and mascara and it's gonna look put together and tied out with like barely no effort at all. All right guys, so next I'm going to put on mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever, 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 ever. I've repurchased this time and time and time again. Over the years, I always go back to it. It's Maybelline Colossal Lashes. It's definitely one of those that it just gets better with time, right? So you have to use it a little bit, you know, after you open it. And I promise this is going to become a favorite. It It's not a rubberized brush, which I'm not a huge fan of, those brushes. So this is perfect. It's more of a traditional type of wand. So what are you guys, how are you guys doing? Like, what is going on in your life? Here, everything is good. I'm getting ready. I, I had like a couple months of no travel, just, you know, routine, day in, day out, which has been lovely. But I'm kind of getting ready to do a bit of a travel marathon coming up because I'm going to Prague next weekend. My boyfriend's brother and his girlfriend are coming to London, staying with us. So we are going to take a trip to Prague together, the four of us. Then they leave mid-March and at the very end of March, I fly to Japan with my mom. Uh, I'll be in Japan for nine days with her. This is a trip that we put off like three times because of the global health crisis that we had these last couple of years and finally we're able to go japan has opened up and we're going you guys see that look at my lashes you might not be able to tell because of the lighting but look how amazing without mascara with mascara I do have a spot here, just want to point that out, that I will be taking care of. But yeah, that is what's going on. And then I come back from Japan, and my boyfriend and I are flying to Krakow for Easter. To spend it with my family. So it is back to back to back. Alright guys, so I just want you to see what my lashes look like. Incredible, incredible. I love this mascara. 
I always get complimented on my lashes when I wear this. All right, so now we're gonna move on to base. I have rediscovered this foundation after many, many, many years, like at least 10 years of not using this and not owning it. And it is the L'Oreal True Match. This stuff looks so good on the skin. If you have not tried this, sorry guys, just had a bit of a coughing attack. If you have not tried this mascara, I would highly recommend you do it. It just looks so lovely on the skin. It is a quite fluid formula. So I try not to take too much. That was half a pump, but it is a lot of product, right? So take about a half a pump and I start with that and I will add more if I feel I need it. But I just put this on my skin. It doesn't have a fragrance. It just smells like cosmetics. I really enjoy that as well. I don't love tons of fragrance on my skin so I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge which is getting a wash today I promise I try to wash my sponge once a week and it's usually on the weekend and today is the weekend it's Saturday so it is gonna be the day okay I feel like it just looks so natural but beautiful on the skin and it wears very very well throughout the day i don't think this has any claims just a super blendable foundation that's it and that it has hydrating hyaluronic acid improved skin quality in two weeks yeah i don't know about that but oh it just looks so lovely It's radiant, but it kind of dries down to a like satin matte finish. Just so pretty. And it doesn't have sunscreen, which sometimes I like, sometimes I don't. Like, I don't mind the extra sunscreen coverage, but I feel like this would be really good for events too, right? If you're going to be in flash photography. So, yeah, love this. That's all I'm going to add. And I'm going to go in with concealer for my little spot and for my under eyes. So the concealer that I love, 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 and I don't hear a lot of people talking about this on YouTube or other, other than, of course, Jessica Braun, who's my favorite YouTuber. Um, it's the Boeing Cakeless Concealer by Benefit. I love this stuff. It just looks so pretty. And it's very thick. It's pretty high coverage, I would say. Very, very thick again, so you don't need a lot, right? And I, this is the kind of concealer that I prefer. I prefer it to be a bit thicker, but that I don't need to use that much product. So I'm going to just put a tiny dot here on my zit. And then I'm just going to go in with one dot. Maybe sometimes I do two if I feel like I really need it. But it's one of those products that you don't need a lot. And I find as I'm aging and getting into my 30s now, I mean, I am in my 30s now, um, I'm finding, you know, the little creases are starting under my eyes. And I just don't want to use tons of product, right? Because it doesn't look good. So I typically start with about that much product, blend it out. And you know, I'm, I'm tired today, right? I have bags under my eyes and no amount of concealer is going to completely get rid of them, right? So you just have to embrace sometimes that it's... It's human nature, right? I'm just going to put a little bit under this eye because I feel like this eye needs a little bit more help today. So you see, that's sort of how I build it, right? I just start very, very small. And if I feel I need more, then I build that concealer. All right, now I will set that with a powder. I need to set with a powder. Uh, I feel like without the powder... It just creases really, really badly on me. Most concealers, right? It's nothing against this concealer. In fact, I would say this concealer creases the least on me. So this is a powder from Paese. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's their like rice powder. And I just take a little bit on this brush. Tiny little bit. Swirl it around 
and I tap it under my eyes. That's where I feel I need the powder the most, and then whatever is left over, I will put on the rest of my skin. Usually just in my T-zone to powder that down. And I have like combination skin, so it doesn't really get oily in these spots, but it will get oily here in my T-zone. So I'm not too worried about it looking too flat because I give it, you know, I'll give it one hour and I'll have those natural oils coming through. All right, now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is from L'Oreal Lumi. It's their True Match Lumi bronzer. I really love this stuff. I've already hit pan on it. Well, already, it's been like a year more than a year um, but I really love this shade as you can see I'm very fair skinned and this is one of the lightest bronzers that I've been able to find at the drugstore I bought this in the US so I really appreciate that because it doesn't overpower my face so let me just get my hair a little bit out of the way and I typically just like to put bronzer on my forehead I feel like it just looks Really nice and it's one of those that you just can't go wrong it's very very blendable it doesn't look kind of fake I put some on my nose I like a little bit on my chin I feel like that looks cute that's it easy peasy obviously because I'm talking through these steps to a camera it's taking a bit longer but on a day-to-day -day basis I can do this makeup in 10 minutes and you know, if I wanted to cut down the time some more, I would just probably not do eyeshadow. All right, now blush. This is from Tarte. So it's a little bit more expensive, a little pricey. I got this for my birthday last year, but I love it. It's in the shade Party. Again, very light, very good for fair, fair skin tones. And it's one of those that you just, you can't go wrong. You can't overdo it. It just looks natural you really cannot ever go overboard with this because it is such a light shade do you see the difference in my face it's like not even me makeup is crazy next i'm gonna go in with highlighter i've been loving this little brush this is what i originally bought the real techniques brush for was this sitting brush it's like the perfect little shape. It's a setting brush, but I use this for highlight. So I'm going to take one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. This is from e.l.f. Uh, it's in the shade Moonlight Pearls. It is gorgeous. It is so natural. As you can see, I've already sort of wore the, the little dome uh, down. So it does have like a spray overlay and you kind of need to get through that. But once you get through that, the product is gorgeous. It is so natural. It's not shimmery. I mean, it has shimmers, but they're very, very fine. And it just is a very, like here's without, here's with. It's a very natural glow. So this is for you guys out there who don't want, you know, that stripe on your face you just want something that's kind of toned down and natural this is for you and it's the perfect shade in the sense that it's not too white it's not too yellow either it's kind of a champagne so i feel it just blends with the skin really nicely and i put it there on my brow bone which will tie my makeup look together okay this next step is new to me but when I last saw my mom, I think it was in November, she was like, my mom, bless her heart, she's a lovely, lovely lady, but she was like, I think you need to do something with your eyebrows. They don't look good. I was like, oh, really? But the prop thing is I, don't, I do nothing with my eyebrows. I just clean them up here. Um, but she was like, your eyebrows look a little bit sparse. They're not really framing your face. Um, and so recently I picked up this e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. I don't really like brow pencils that much and so, you know honestly I just can't be bothered to mess with my brows but this is easy right and I feel like maybe it's not perfect maybe it's not you know gonna do a ton for my eyebrows but it will help to just helps to fill in like here I have a sparse 
area just kind of help to fill that in a tiny bit and frame the face it doesn't feel super comfortable at first like i can feel right now it's wet but it does dry down and i think that is a little bit better the thing is i have such fair skin that i don't want a brow powder that or anything in my brows that completely overpowers my face and then i have like black stripes on my face uh because i do have dark hair dark eyes you know kind of like dark features in that sense but then my skin is very very fair all right guys so we're nearing the end of this makeup routine we're almost there i'm going to go back into my lovely palette I'm going to go into the dark shade, the black shade here. It's very unique because it's black with like orange sparkles. I've never seen an eyeshadow like this, but I love it. Um, so I'm going to just dip my little, it's like an eyeliner brush in here. Tap it off, tap the excess, excess off. And I'm going to do a little wing just on the very outer corners of my eye. And I've been loving to use the powder because I feel it looks soft. It just looks soft, right? Versus a very thick and defined line. And sometimes if I want to soften it out some more, I'll take an eyeshadow brush, a little, like, a, like a pointier one. Let me see if I have one here to show you. I'll take something like this, just kind of like a fine tip eyeshadow brush, and I will you know, soften it up some more, but I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is for today. So that's eyeliner done. Uh, lower lash mascara. I do like lower lash mascara. I feel it makes my eyes look bigger and more pulled together. So just put a tiny bit on there, just a little bit, you know, like it doesn't make a huge difference, but I do feel it just pulls everything in together. So as you can see, this is not like what maybe you might consider to be super in style right now, this makeup. Because it's not like a clean girl look, right? It's just a very traditional makeup look, I would say. Um, so the way that I've been, you know, toning it down and making it a little bit more clean girl, so to speak, is by not using, you know, heavy lipstick right not using very dark lipstick or if i am doing dark lipstick like a red lip i will skip on the eyeshadow so i'm just kind of trying to balance it out a little bit there so i've got this lip product that i'm gonna put on it's from nars but i got it at tj max in the us which is tk max uh, here in the uk i scored the lottery uh when i went to tj max in the us there was so many high-end makeup products there for very affordable and so i got this little lipstick it's like that but it's very very natural right so it doesn't have a ton of pigment i would say it's more of a lipstick to lip gloss formula and so i i'm finding that this is my version of clean girl makeup, right? It's just pairing a very light sort of clean lip. I love eyeshadow. I cannot be without eyeshadow. Um, I, it's just something I really, really enjoy and I think it looks nice on me. So, you know, sometimes you can go with the trends but still make it your own. And guys, there is the finished makeup look this is my run-of-the-mill everyday type of makeup look you know i'm looking at the camera and i'm at 27 minutes because i ramble and i'm talking through but i promise you on a day-to-day -day basis it's no more than 10 minutes and it just makes me feel put together it makes me look feel more productive right like i'm ready now to conquer the day so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did um, I would love to hear your comments on this makeup look, maybe some suggestions, suggestions if you have any. Um, and let me know what are your favorite makeup products, especially drugstore ones. As you can see, I have a lot of drugstore uh, things. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye!